Welcome back to another AI Practitioner Exam Byte, reviewing the question from the previous episode asking which combination of inference parameters would you likely use? The answer is D, high temperature, moderate top P. High temperature allows for more creativity in the generated descriptions, whereas a moderate top P provides a balance, allowing for creativity while still limiting the selection to a reasonably probable set of tokens. This combination allows for creative descriptions while maintaining relevance to the product, which is ideal for engaging product descriptions in e-commerce. Okay, today we are covering the exam objective, define retrieval augmented generation or RAG, and describe its business applications. For example, Amazon Bedrock and Knowledge Base. Let's start with looking at what is RAG. Retrieval augmented generation is a powerful technique that combines the strength of large language models with the ability to access and utilize external knowledge. Here's how it works in four steps. The first step is information retrieval. When a query comes in, RAG first searches a knowledge base or external data source for relevant information. Next is context augmentation. The retrieved information is then added to the input augmenting the original query with relevant context. Then generation. This augmented input is fed into a large language model, which uses both the query and the retrieved information to generate a response. So both parts that we put together. Finally, output. The result is a response that's not only fluent and coherent, hopefully thanks to the language model, but also factual and up to date, thanks to the retrieved information. So why is RAG so important? Well, it addresses several key limitations of traditional large language models. First being up-to-date information. RAG can access the most recent data, overcoming the problem of models having outdated knowledge. It can also help reduce hallucinations because by grounding responses in retrieved facts, RAG significantly reduces the likelihood of the model hallucinating or generating false information. And also verifiability. The sources of information can be tracked, making the model's outputs more transparent and verifiable. It also has benefits for customization because RAG allows for easy incorporation of domain specific or proprietary knowledge without needing to retrain the entire model. And finally, efficiency. It's more efficient than fine tuning models on specific data sets, especially when dealing with frequently changing information. Now let's talk about how Amazon Bedrock Knowledge Bases implement RAG. Bedrock Knowledge Bases is AWS's fully managed solution for implementing RAG at scale. And there's a few things which make it really a great option for RAG. Firstly, it works directly with foundation models in Amazon Bedrock, simplifying the RAG implementation process. It also automatically creates and stores vector embeddings of your data, enabling fast and accurate information retrieval. And you can use various data sources like Amazon S3, Amazon OpenSearch, or even custom data stores. It's also designed to handle large amounts of data and high query volumes, making it suitable for enterprise applications. Let's do an example of how it works in practice. So you upload your company's documentation to a bedrock knowledge base. Then when a customer asks a question, the system searches the knowledge base for relevant information. This information is then passed to a foundation model along with the question. The model uses this context to generate an accurate, up-to-date response. So what are some key business applications of RAG using bedrock knowledge bases? Well. One might be creating intelligent chatbots that can access your entire product catalog, or perhaps building internal tools that can query vast amounts of company data. You could develop AI assistants that can reference industry specific information. Remember bedrock knowledge bases makes RAG more accessible and manageable, allowing businesses to leverage their proprietary data alongside the power of large language models. Let's finish off with a review question. A company wants to implement a customer service chatbot that can provide accurate, up-to-date responses based on their frequently changing product documentation. Which of the following best describes how retrieval augmented generation or RAG with Amazon Bedrock Knowledge Bases could address this need? A, it allows the chatbot to generate creative responses without relying on external data. 
B, it automatically updates the foundation model's parameters with new product information. C, it eliminates the need for a large language model by relying solely on retrieved information. Or D, it enables the chatbot to access and utilize the latest product documentation stored in the knowledge base when generating responses. You know the drill, post your answer in the comments and we'll review this in the next episode where we're gonna be covering AWS services that help store embeddings within vector databases. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to follow, like, or subscribe. See you in the next one.